All right. What's up, guys? Welcome to a new episode of The Oddcast. It's Oddly Entertainment's new podcast where we talk about anything, everything, nerdy, video games, comic books, or just random things we love where we're going. Today, though, we're going to talk about some awesome comic book shows. First one is going to be The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which is a new series on Disney+. Plus. And the next one is an awesome new show called Invincible. And I didn't know anything about it until this guy right here told me about it. But before we move further, let's introduce you. This is Mick Raskin. He's going to be a new member of the Otley team, and you're just going to be pushing forward with all his expertise. So just tell us about what you're doing. Oh, sweet. Thank you. I appreciate the introduction. Uh, My name is Mick Raskin, as you all heard. And, uh, you know, I'm a passionate audio engineer. I make music, um, but I'm also really passionate about all this type of content. Uh, I love comics. I love uh, video games. I love all that type of stuff and especially having my own crazy ideas. So I'm really excited about, you know, Sean and I teaming up and kind of making more content and I'll bring, bring, you know, forth my audio expertise and kind of help out with that. Maybe bring some cool sound design, but I'm excited. We got some cool ideas, so we're going to yeah. be, be pumping out some cool stuff. So. Yeah. yeah, and we're excited <laughs> to share that with you guys. And a lot more content will be coming out way faster because we're going to be working together on oh, a lot yeah. of it. Oh, yeah. But let's just talk about uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yes, It yes. was awesome. Yeah. Uh, I, I absolutely loved the, the entire series. Like, I, I did know, too, yeah. yeah. You know, like we were both talking about this because you know I have a boyfriend and and his girlfriend. We, they both kind of don't like the show as much as we did, and yeah. they maybe felt like it was kind of boring or a slow burn. But I don't know. I really, I really loved it so much. It was just it really built on the characters and gave yeah, me does. more. I, you know, I always felt like uh, Bucky and Sam were just kind of the sideline characters, and it was cool to see exactly. a, a bit more about that. Mm-hmm. I won't lie, though. There, there was one part where it, it was one of those episodes, like, a second to last, where it was just this long montage of them working on that boat, you know? And I, I, <laughs> I kind of was like, come on, we get it. But I, I was really satisfied with that last episode. I mean, that felt like a movie. It felt like yeah. watching a Captain America Like, movie. everything just culminated into yeah. him being the hero that he was actually, like, yes. what steve rogers knew he could be yeah and, uh, going back to what you said about um how they just going back into <laughs> yeah i thought something happened thought something we're still good we're still good going back into what you said about how they were depicted as side characters the entire mm-hmm. time um it was really cool seeing them at the forefront of this and seeing their like full capabilities yeah, because yeah. before you would only see each one for maybe except for when the winter soldier was the main villain you were only able to see them doing like cool things or maybe a few minutes out of the yeah. movies yeah but they had to share screen time. But now we have a way to like see all these side characters build out into like their own universes and just yeah. new worlds. They definitely have a lot universe. going on on that show of other people's stories going on too. Yeah. Uh, but it also made me think though of, uh, you know, with Sam, I was always really curious how he was going to pull it off and be Captain America and to mm-hmm. see all, him like kind of combine everything and be this like, you know, he's almost like Iron Man mixed with Captain America. And yeah. Everything in one. And he has that Wakanda tech now. So, mm-hmm. like, that's that's the other thing I think we should talk about, too. Is the Oh, yeah. Wakanda. Like, how Wakanda's just stepping in and feeling, <laughs> yeah. like, normally. You know how, like, there's spoiler alert, just in case you have not finished the show. <laughs> everything that's going to be discussed is going to be going towards the end of the yeah. series. We're so, not going to spoil Invincible too much, but we'll... Yeah, we'll that just, one just finished. We're going to assume that you finished Winter Yeah, Soldier. yeah. So... <laughs> Just a heads up, if you don't want to know what's happening at the end of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, skip towards this, towards the next part, which is going to be about Invincible. But um, moving forward, um, <clears throat> the way Wakanda started supplying the tech for Cap for Falcon, what should we call him? Captain Falcon? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you can't. No, it's, it's Captain Falcon. America. I love the thing that they said Captain America. Too. Yeah. It's going to take some time when you're going on YouTube to try to find that. I know. It's, it's like yeah. in my brain, it's like because of Smash Bros. I always think about Captain Falcon. I was like, that would be a cool yeah. superhero name. But it's like, he's the new Captain America. No, I, but I, was, I, was that. I was literally the other day looking on YouTube, like trying to find a certain fight, like as. Sam, like Captain America versus, and you know, it's going to be the old yeah. cat versus someone versus. else. So it's kind of going to be a little issue there. To yeah. <laughs> so the new Captain America, it was, it was crazy to see how Wakanda stepping in to fill that technological gap that yeah. Stark normally fills. Yeah. So like, do you think that moving forward, Wakanda is going to be the new people behind the tech and supplying like what the world needs yeah i mean uh, marvel would be crazy to pass 
up on just giving more power to that to, to the Wakanda nation, especially in the cinematic universe. I mean, you see Black Panther. We're let's talk professionally or about the mm-hmm. the aspects of the profit they made from it alone. Like they really touched the black community with the Black Panther. They'd be crazy to not like dive into that further and like keep yeah, going they can really dive and in and the make the these prominent of... characters. Yeah, and it yeah. seems like they're already doing that with yeah. um, like the steps that they are taking with uh, the new Captain America, Sam Wilson. Now yeah. that he's Captain America, there's a lot of like there's going to be a lot of people who don't like what Disney's doing with that. Yeah. But it happened in the comics, and it happened for a reason. It was just like this is your new Captain America. He deserves it, yeah. and it doesn't matter what color he is that's like, like i was gonna ask you that too you know when i'm watching this, this show and the, to hear them talk about you know the previous black captain america who was like almost you know they were really talking about black america and talking about race in ways that i never saw disney do or marvel mm-hmm. you know but I, I, how do you feel as, as someone as a black man like do you feel like they're doing it r- correctly or do you think that they're kind of you, 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 I, you, it's, it's good? I, I feel I, like I they're it. doing it as best they can yeah, like they yeah. they they handle yeah. the touchy subjects that are happening today well yeah it's like they have to make sure it's good for everybody it's explainable enough that children can understand it but deep enough that adults will actually feel the impact yeah. of it there's and they, they about, do that really well i was gonna say there's something about like uh there's some one show that's on like prime or something and this is a different topic but where there's like so much they're really it's like a horror show about uh like racism in america and it's like there's oh, a lot of people uh, who are complaining about it because it's they're like dude this is too much i don't want to see this type really? of stuff and, and i i know I think there's a fine line about. that you got to play you know yeah. like yeah i forget what it's called like us or something something like it that, was like remember. wasn't us the one That's the movie. that was the yeah, movie yeah, 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 yeah. but my i bad, think this is set <clears throat> i think this is set in that same universe oh really yeah i I remember seeing i heard that there was something where these like racist hillbillies like you know grab a a baby a black baby and they're Mm -hmm. like beating and you see it all and i'm I'm just like i don't want to watch that i mean like i know that that stuff happened and i'm not denying it but i just feel like there's there's a fine line and i know that there's a lot of people in the black community too or like this is a little it's almost like like you're just like cashing in on this (laughs) So sorry, I was getting a little off topic there. <laughs> let's uh, let's talk touch base on Sharon Carter, okay? All right, yeah. So the most surprising part of this, so a lot of people like were caught off guard about this, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, there were some people that were like, "Oh, I saw it coming." I felt like she was going to be like like something changed about her, but I didn't really see her becoming the power broker. It seemed yeah. like too I don't know too why, but like there. a part of me thinks that she isn't the power broker. I don't know why. I just think that like it the reveal was a little too like stale for me. And Yeah, it and, kind of fell flat. Like yeah. it, it didn't seem like it But she never like explicitly said she was either. The guy was like, Oh, so you're the power broker and she's like well, I can't be having business with bri- with people trying to bribe <laughs> me or you know, uh, blackmail yeah. and she shoots him. And so I don't know. I mean, it, it's up to. It wasn't really that big of a reveal for me, but I do think that she, what she's talking about with the, you know, giving out information that it could lead to the Iron Wars that I heard about in the comics, where they start. Se- she's someone selling war patriots, uh, war machines, yeah. you know, like tech, and then it's like this whole war of, of uh, Iron Man suits. So that, that could be. Mm-hmm. That could I, and I, I heard so. rumors that that's actually nice. about to happen. So okay. I heard that that's kind of on its way, and it's supposed to introduce. Um, the new girl, I forget her name. I think it's like Riri Williams or something like that. It's a oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah it's the yeah. girl who was an MIT student and yeah. she like she, she gets really taken on by Tony. Tony. Yeah yeah yeah. 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 So yeah. there's rumors that she may actually come in mm. and like be a part of those Iron Wars that, that would are going to go cool. on, and oh, that's that how cool. she's going to be introduced. That'd be really cool actually. as somebody yeah. who's like who has been influenced by Tony Stark. Huh. So she uses her knowledge to help, like, stop this threat from oh, happening wow. using his tech. That's pretty cool. Yeah, cool. so I'm, I'm hoping that they do that with her, but yeah. guess we'll, we'll see what's going on with that. But just her being revealed as Sharon Carter, <laughs> not just Sharon Carter being revealed as uh, the power broker, and along yeah. with, um, what's the woman's name who who's Elaine oh. on Seinfeld? I forget her name. Yeah, he, he even Dreyfus. says her. He says her. No, her name is a uh, Ju- Julia. Julia, Julia Dreyfus. Julia right? Dreyfus. Yeah. Julia. So I forget her character's name. But... Yeah, I know. He says it too, in the and U.S. agent calls her that Val. 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 He's yeah. Like, hey, Val. She's like, don't call me that. You mm-hmm. know? But, I li- actually, you know, I, I, I like her character in here. Oh yeah, yeah, I like her character, but I'll be maybe the first to say I like U.S. Agent too. Like yeah. I like his character. <laughs> he was such. It was like kind of like this. 
you know, he was like set up for failure. I mean, he was this this true, military true. war dog who the U.S. government had bred to be this like soldier. Mm-hmm. And I and I like the fact that it like bit them in the butt that they saw that you can't yeah that like guy's you just not... can't put anybody in the yeah. suit like the suit means something. And, and that's then also... you have one guy who just goes nuts. Yeah, but that's also it. to me that's like what America Loki really represents is this like war mach- is this evil war dog and you, Captain like, America bred is these this... people to yeah. just like do what you want them to do until yeah. it doesn't really but yeah ca- but captain america is like the values the american dream that we all want to be be mm-hmm. like but Amer- you know a lot of times america is just oh. but i like us agent i think that like he his whole redemption of seeing him pull those people up and you know him being like I'm back. yeah it was yeah funny. I, 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 <laughs> well, he was like it, it was a weird turnaround for me <laughs> because it was like I, I thought he was going to just be like evil and sinister all the yeah. way through. I knew he would probably help those people, but I thought he was going to be like a dick yeah. about it. But then like when he came in, it was just like corny fun. It was like, it was good. It he was started good. being partners with, uh, uh, with Bucky. Yeah. And I was just like, what? <laughs> when he, like, when he said that Lincoln quote, that was so <laughs> yeah. funny. He's like, he's like, that's a great quote. He's like, yeah, yeah. but not what you say. It. <laughs> like it was super funny. And I, I liked the change in character. It was amusing, yeah. but it didn't seem, like like it seemed like so sudden yeah like i thought yeah. it would be an overtime thing it was just like i have one change of heart and then like what's up buddy we're friends yeah, we're yeah. Friends. <laughs> no, yeah you're right, you're right. yeah that was you're the right. only thing it, i didn't not like it like i thought yeah. it was funny it no, just I, don't, seemed I, don't, like I feel like he definitely you know he definitely is still like kind of one of those like anti-heroes and i like that marvel's introducing more of that like cause yeah I, I i like that stuff like the boys where you see you know from amazon Prime, yeah, it's like, yeah. heroes aren't always good they got to do bad like things they're sometimes. real people they have yeah. like choices to make in the moment and sometimes you don't make the right choices yeah yeah, yeah. so I, I like that and and you know it, it was an interesting take on it so talking about how uh u.s agent is going to be a really interesting anti-hero going up and going forward with the mcu and then how he's going to have to make difficult choices there's this other show called invincible where a lot of heroes have to make really difficult choices and the way they depict all the violence and everything going on in the series is insane because the super powered people in that show feel so super powered because the actual humans feel so fragile and because of that the impact that they have on their world is just so much more dramatic than anything that we've seen depicted in a lot of these new comic book shows coming out right now so what what do you think about invincible and just that entire series especially the first episode yeah i was about to say you can't ignore the elephant in the room the 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 decapitated eviscerated elephant that's the violence of that show because it's crazy i mean it's just something i've never seen before yeah and it, but it, but it's also like it's not it's so sh- i mean it's shocking and it's but it's not like it's not like i don't know it doesn't feel like gore porn to me you know it still has this like yeah. interesting artistic feel to it where it's like man i see how the impact of like if you were really a superhero and you tried to catch an old lady and you accidentally went too fast and ripped through her it's like holy like real life ramifate like as real life as a super powered person is going to be yeah. there's a lot of things you have to control like yeah. moving quickly and i love that forward. i mean yeah. I, you know i didn't i didn't like how Zack snyder portrayed superman at first recently how he's not as graceful as the previous but i but then i grew to like it because it's it's realistic i mean it's like mm-hmm. we can't expect them to fight in manhattan and do these big fights and not blow up like buildings yeah and like people you know shit's gonna happen yeah. and a lot of people may die in a lot of these yeah. battles and i think what you were saying about it being like gore porn is like I feel like it can border that like if you show it to somebody who's it's like, like, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no I mean like if you show it to somebody who's like really sensitive to it oh, or okay. just like yeah, they like, oh it, God, it like, catches a lot yeah, of my people mom can watch it. My mom. yeah <laughs> like, every time I tell her to watch a violent movie she's like is, is there torture in it is there violence I'm like mom no but like you know like someone's head violence, gets but there's off, a reason it's not, it's not like you know somebody's <laughs> main brain may get pinched out like a bug but i mean it's to show his dominance and how little he thinks about humans and it was just like yeah i uh you know i don't want to spoil too much about it invincible because i really think that you all should check this show out Mm. Uh, but i I just was blown away by that first episode i feel like in that has the longest post credit scene i've ever seen in in oh my god it was like 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 i thought the show was over i was like whoa i was like okay this is gonna be like a 30 minute show it's really good (laughs) they really do good and and i feel like it also has this like fan service every episode it gives you an extra little bit um I like this the little bits where every episode the way he says the title card is like part of the st- story. Mm-hmm. You know, he says like 
I'm, and then Invincible pops up. And I don't know if you noticed, but every episode, there's more blood that pops up on the title yeah. card, too. And by the Each end, time. it's like, a lot of technical difficulties today, but mm -hmm. we're pushing through. It's part of the process. That's yeah. what makes us fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, where were we? we so were we were talking invincible. about... Oh, yeah, Invincible. Um, I, wanted, I, I was really impressed by, like, the... I was talking about the amount of uh like content that they give you in one episode too it was really good it didn't, mm -hmm. didn't feel like there were that many filler episodes sometimes like the boys can or other shows from amazon kind of feel that way but yeah i liked it i thought it was really good it, yeah it was I, like you were saying it's just like that post credit scene that seemed like so long right after it yeah. was just like when i first saw it and i finished it and the credits wrote for the first time it's like oh it's about a 20 25 minute show it's like that's what i come to expect from the new animated series and then all of a sudden i just get like 15 to 20 more minutes. Yeah, kind of like, yeah. Wow. Like that, that was super surprising. Yeah, that was, was really awesome. cool. Yeah. I really hope that, uh, I, I think uh, you, before we started this, you were talking about possibilities of them doing a live action. Of this oh thing. yeah. So yeah. I heard rumors. I don't know if it's huh. true or not, but with the popularity of the, of Invincible being where it is right now, yeah. Amazon just pushed forward two more seasons. So we're definitely going to get a season two and three. Mm -hmm. And there were rumors that there's also talks about a, pi a possible, live action adaptation and while i do like comic book live action things like everything in the mcu has been awesome i don't think that we need one because this yeah. just started it doesn't really like it's, it's still like, so at its it's like peak amount of like uh, uh popularity yeah. like it's still going to increase but, al but also kind of going back to that all the gore in the show like i, I don't think i want to see that in live action like i don't want yeah, to that's you know, true I, too. I like how it's animated and you know, uh, I do want to talk about, too, like that there are so many good comic books out there that aren't just Marvel and DC that they could easily animate these and make them into a show yeah. or make them into a movie. But, and it doesn't have to be live action. I mean, there are some that mm -hmm. would be cool as live action, but I mean, it's they're like sitting storyboards. I mean, you, you can literally look at every single scene and be like, wow, this is a whole movie episode right here in this one comic book. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, and it's just like uh, there's one uh, comic that I've been wa reading for quite some time now. It's called Saga, and I normally wait yeah. until each of the volumes come out, so I always get the volumes oh, yeah, yeah, instead yeah, of yeah, the individual one. Yeah. yeah, and it's just like that story would go so well on screen, and it could be animated, and it will be really awesome yeah. and a, re a great thing that a lot of people would want to see. Yeah, the, uh, recently, like about three or four years ago, I went to a comic book store. It was the first time I was like, hey, you know, I want to buy a comic. Mm -hmm. And I asked the guy, I was like, you know, I want to I get something new. I, I, I like Marvel. He's like, well, here, you got to get this one. He gave me a Deadpool one that was a Marvel one, and I love. it was really funny. Yeah. And, but then he's like, you know, but if you want to try something else, you got to try this one called Saga. And, uh, you know, we should just briefly tell the public it's it's what it's about is like in this distant future, another, I guess, is it in Earth or it's another reality, right? Like another. Yes. Universe. Yeah. Yeah. And I anyways, think it's like a different universe. Yeah. yeah. But there's basically like there's these different races of people where one have they have wings and they and they're like, you know, that's how they're growing. The other people have horns. Mm -hmm. So and there's this like non year long race battle going on between them, like wars where they're killing each other. You yeah. Know? And it, it definitely has a lot of similar symbolism to everything that goes on in our day and age that's why it's interesting to read this fantasy science fiction that's like very similar to what our our life is about sometimes you know mm -hmm. yeah um, and it touches on a lot of topics that's sort yeah. of representative from uh things that are happening in the real in our real life society yeah. right now but the main thing about that show is that there or that comic is that it's it's about a man with uh, wings and a woman with horns and they have a child together this yeah like a fusion so it's it's the first time ever that that's that happening. these two races have come together yeah. it's like a romeo and juliet story yeah. but a space version it's, it's really good. cool yeah I, I you know I, I also so we're talking about this brand of comics called image comics and they're good i mean they released uh walking dead and and invincible i believe is also um uh, image mm -hmm. comics and I, I think that like there are so many that i just for for a while was just buying that brand and there's so many interesting ones i really want to recommend this one called black science Mm -hmm. um it's it's about it's kind of like you you lent me one of the uh yeah, one okay the first yeah. line and it, it's basically like it's like honey i shrunk the kids meets rick and morty kind of where the scientist um you know is designing this way to go to other realities and dimensions and he believes that he could go to a you know dimension and find like the cure to cancer and bring it back to our reality 
and the first book happens, the first episode issue. His he's bringing his like kids to a tour of his office, and they get sucked in. And it's mm-hmm. not it's not like as funny as you mm-hmm. think, or it's not like oh, honey, I shrunk the kids. It's very <laughs> like dark, and it, it's interesting. I mean, it's cool the whole multiverse theory and the idea that like the moment if I create if I was like smart enough to create that device, then there's probably a bunch of other versions of me that created that device too mm-hmm. so there was like you know there's like an uh, ape version of him that's only ape and he <laughs> created a device too it's like it's really weird so there's a lot of interesting stuff that goes on in that one and i i highly recommend that black science from image mm-hmm. comics i'm sure we could talk about comic books for so long because between both of us you'll probably end up sitting here for a few hours and you won't even like us anymore you'd be tired of our voices but <laughs> thank you guys yeah. a jig thank you guys again for joining us today for our first podcast, it's called The Oddcast. You'll be able to find this on your favorite podcasting services soon because I'm still figuring that out. But you can totally find this on um, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. You'll find this everywhere. We'll send a smoke signal. You'll be able, you'll find yeah, it. You'll you find will this. find it. <laughs> Burst in your house, you'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any places that people can find you? Um, well, you know, I do have a couple plugs I'd like to put in here. You know, you should be looking out for me. I'll be a new Mortal Kombat DLC cumber character coming out soon. So uh, look out for that one. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, 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 you know, I like to just release stuff. We'll, we'll be releasing stuff together. So we're going to, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be putting a lot more content out soon. So Definitely. look out for more to come. Look out for more. And I hope to see you beautiful people later. Peace out and have an awesome day. Woo!